Well, everyone, it is that time again. It is the CEB Champions League Volley, and we are in the women's semifinals. We've made it down to the last four teams, and two of them on display here walking into the stadium. There's Captain Kitty Kella of Novara, and the rest of her squad following right behind. It is Igor Gorgonzola Novara of Italy. They're going to be taking on Izajabashi Dinovit of Istanbul, Turkey. Well, my name's Key Michael. I'm excited to be your host for today's matchup as per usual. Coach Lavarini getting ready, getting his team prepped and riled up for this big match, which is ahead of them as the players of Zajabashi also making their way into the gym. Well, three teams from Turkey and all from Istanbul have actually qualified for the semifinals of this 2023 Women's TV Champions League semi-final. Fenerbahce, one of them, Vakibank, the other, and here is Ashibashi, all from Istanbul. Now, this makes this the first time in Champions League history that three teams from one city, from one city, have reached the semi-finals of any Champions League campaign, whether it be men's or women's. There is head coach Ferhat Akbash. Cristina Kirikella, Champions League semi-finals are about to start. What are your feelings about playing such an important game? And what are your expectations about matching such a great team like Exacibaji? Uh, we are full of emotion, for sure. It's not easy to play a semi-final uh, in ch champion championship. So we are uh, so excited to play this game. And we know it's going to be a tough match because we have a great team against us. So. We will try to do our best for sure. Maja Unjanovic is the first semi-finals with Novara. What are your expectations about these two games and what are your feelings about playing a semi-final of the Chev Champions League? Of course that we are super excited about these semi-finals. It's a long time that our club uh, didn't play in semi-final. So I don't want to talk about importance of this game. I mean, everyone knows that semis are, you know, like two games uh, in or out, like to be at the best four teams in the Europe, I think it's already a big thing, but of course we will not stop here. We have like big targets and uh, for sure we are going forward to, to win uh, this game and especially to win again uh, at Istanbul. Well, complimenty to both those players, Maja Gnjanovic and Kristina Kirikela for their English. It is so fantastic to hear these interviews in English, so I don't have to do my best to try and translate them for you. But both those players looking very excited. And now as we are in the locker room of Novara, calm, cool, collected on the phones as per usual, just checking up the last minute Instagram stats and data and seeing who's following who and who's tagging who. All the fun stuff that happens in the world of volleyball because, you know, it is a social sport after all. Well, as I mentioned earlier, this team, well, not this team, but the team they're taking on from Istanbul. The only other country to have had three clubs in the semifinals of a Champions League campaign, that was Italy in the 2021 Women's Champions League. They were Corneliano, who went on to win it. Busto, my alma mater, and one of today's main events, no, Igor Gorgonzola, who you just, Gorgonzola Novara, who you just saw in their locker room there. The other team in that season semi-final was Vakipank, who ended up runners-up that year, but reigning champions, and they will be taking on Fenerbahce tomorrow in the hopes of making it to defend their title. Here we're having a sneak peek into the locker room of Zajabashi as they get ready. It's kind of cool to see what everyone gets up to. I feel like I recognize that locker room. I've been there a couple of times. But that looks like a pretty much exactly how it is in every single professional level team. People are on their phones, people are, some people are jamming out and dancing, and other people are just calm, cool, and reading their stats. Their scouting report, that is. This happened just earlier. The captains, Boscovich and Kirikela, with the coin toss. Well, it is all about these two teams here now. Izajabashi and Novar meeting tonight for the first time ever in Champions League. But, well, Izajabashi, they're on your left in the orange captained by Boscovich. They're no strangers to Italian opposition. Navarro will become the 11th different Italian opposition in the semifinals. It's 
excuse me, the 11 different Italian op opponents for Zajabashi in the Champions League in their career. The Turkish team also faced the Italian opposition in the semifinals twice before. They lost 0-3 to Calabria in their very first semifinal appearance 2001. And then again, 0-3 to Bergamo in 2002. Well, they subsequently went on a run of seven wins in eight matches against the Italians, only to have lost their last three Champions League matches and a golden set against Italian teams. So the question is, will their luck return to their side tonight to get them in a position to compete in the final? And these are the four teams that are trying to get into that final. Navarra taking on Ezadjabashi tonight. Bakke Bank and Fenerbahce going head to head tomorrow. Well, for, for Novara, they have faced four other Turkish teams in the Champions League, including Vakif Bank in this season's group stage. That was a 0-3 loss and a 3-1 win. Both those matches played in Novara due to the tragic earthquake in Turkey. Novara faced Turkish opposition. That was again Vakif Bank when they reached the semifinals for the first time in 2019. That was when they won the golden set 16-14 and propelled themselves into the finals. They went on to beat... Conigliano in the final 3-1 and they were crowned CEB Champions League champions that season in 2019. Navarra's only other semi-final appearance was in 2021 when they lost against Conigliano without winning a single set, a 0-6 finish overall. This season has been another great run for Novara, who've won seven of their eight Champions League matches this season. Across the net, well, there's his Ajibashi in the orange for Navarra. The only exception to those wins was a loss against the Turkish side, Vakif Bank 03 in Novara on the 10th of January. Ebra Karakurt on your screen is the tops, the team's top scorer in this season's Champions League. She's got 169 points, third most of all players. She scored 20 plus points in six of her eight matches in this campaign. Now, interestingly, Karakurt was part of the Vakif Bank team that won the Champions League in 2018. So she'll be looking for her second medal. Well, hopefully this season. Anna Danesi, also from Novara. She scored 24 kill blocks in this season's Champions League. That's only two players above her. That's Elisabetta Kokorina of Le Canet with 25. And Chaco Gwogu, also 25 for Vakif Bank. They have a couple more over the net. There for Azadjabashi. Well, they're the only team who to have won all their eight matches in this season's Champions League. Most recently, they beat developers Szeszo of Poland 3-1 and 3-2 in the quarterfinals. The only other Champions League season in which Azadjabashi won all their matches was 2020, when the competition was cancelled before they could play their quarterfinal matches. There is their captain, Boscovich. Tonight, Azadjabashi will play in the Champions League semi-final for the first time since 2017, when they lost their semi-final against Vakif Bank, that was an 0-3 loss, but it will be their seventh appearance here overall. They reached the final only once in 2015 when they beat, well, they beat me <laughs> when I was playing at Bustar Sitio, and they had the likes of Jordan Larson on their side, and they went on to win the trophy. You just saw earlier on your screen, Serbian, Tiana Boscovic, she's widely regarded as one of the best opposites in the world. She's the team's top scorer in this Champions League with 104 points. That number, while impressive, is down from 179 in her last campaign. Incredibly, she's only made four appearances on court this season. There she is on the left of your screen. She scored 19, 28, 27, and 30 points, respectively, in those matches that she did play. Now, Zajibashi have had a hot few years, winning 20 of their previous 22 Champions League matches. Their only losses came in the quarterfinals of the 2021 season and a 1-3 loss against Bustar Sitio, well, twice. So, can they break that Italian bad luck tonight? Well, here's the team that's going to try and do it. Novara with some famous faces, one of them being Ebra Karakurt in the opposite. Of course, Christina Kirikela, the captain through the middle. She will be backed up by all those players that you see on your, well, not on your screen anymore, but you did just a minute ago 
On the other side, we've got Azadjavashi. Well, a lot of Turkish national team players there. And a Baladin, the 25-year-old. We have Maya Ognjenovic, the Serbian setter, who has a couple of Olympic medals. There she is, for Novara, having come over from Bakif Bank just recently. Everybody out at Katakort, the 23-year-old, originally of Turkey herself. And, well, Tiana Boscovic needs no introduction. The 26-year-old Serbian, been with Azadjabashi since 2015. Previously only played in Serbia, so her first stint out into the world of well, European volleyball outside of Serbia was here in Turkey since I do the math there I think that's seven years was the best server at the club world champs in 2023 looking forward to some of those spicy aces out on court today well last time when they played against that Polish side of Szeszo Boscovic had just one ace but she did put up 30 points, as I mentioned earlier. Four of them from blocks. And the entire team of Azadjabashi had 18 blocks in their last Champions League match, as well as five aces. For Novara, they had seven blocks and six aces. So let's have a listen. Well, I don't know about you, but that Champions League anthem still gives me chills to this day. And it has been, well, quite a while since I was on the court playing in a semifinal like this. But I can tell you for these players, this is emotional. This is intense. This is exciting. This has everything that you would want as a professional athlete. If anyone out there watching has ever had the experience, not only of playing at a high level, but in the Champions League, it is the highest level in Europe, respected as such, and to be here on this stage tonight, well, for the players and coaches alike, it is an absolute dream and a pinnacle of their sporting career. The two referees selected for this evening, Oliver Guillet of France and Sonia Simonovska will be the second referee. A lot of responsibility on both of them. But of course, we do have the challenge system in place. So anything that goes well under the radar of the referees can be double checked on the review. It is just about time to meet the players who will step on the court and no surprise, the first one out on court, Tiana Boscovic. She'll be backed up by Laura, Laura Herrmann of Belgium. And Baladin on the outside hitting spot from Turkey. Maya Ognjenovic will be setting. Irina Voronkova of Russia. Tunga Akosh in the libero jersey and just there on the left of your screen. Number 88, Tine Jackie Sal, the 29-year-old middle blocker of Trinidad and Tobago. There they are, there's confirmation. Coach Ferhat Akbash has put out the best of his best, and I can tell you, he has a wealth of experience well, and talent on his bench, that's for sure. Here we go for Novara then. Christina Kirikela will be middle blocking with Anna Danesi. Everybody out of court, no surprise, in the opposite spot. Ilaria Battistoni will be setting. Katarina Bozzetti in the outside. 
hitting spot. And across from her will be Inyat Kafsasas, number 14 of Cuba. Eleonora Fersino in the libero jersey. Coach Lavarini, well, he's coached all over the place. Bergamo, Brazil, Busto, also with the national team of South Korea since 2019. Berhat Akbash as well. The experience is there. Head coach of Croatia and Turkey previously has a Champions League gold, silver, and a bronze medal already in his coaching arsenal. Forza Igor, let's go Igor Gorgonzola Novara is what that little girl is saying on her sign. Well, I think all of the international volleyball community will be watching and cheering for one of these two sides, whoever it is, wherever you're watching. I hope you are ready to go. It's going to be a good one. Two of the best teams in the world going head to head. And the whistle is blown. It is Izajabashi on the left. Taking on Novara on the right in this semi-final of the Champions League 2023. And the first shots are fired. Ball doesn't fall yet though, over the net. Another chance for Zajibashi. Through the pipe and eventually they find a way to put it down. A few different opportunities there for both sides eventually. And a Baladin coming in. There's the tip, first of all, from Boscovich, which Potentially might have been down or there were some questions, I think. But Baladin coming, firing in to the right side. Point on the board is Ajibashi. Follow it up with a big stuff block from, well, none other than Laura Hermann of Belgium. Couple that with Boscovich on her right side. There is not much. Kenya Karsasis could have done to get through that block. 2-0 for the team in orange. This time it's a ball behind cross court. Doug, great chance for the Turkish side. Navarra with a great defense though. Here comes Ebrard Karakort. She's looking for a touch. She's not given it though. Well, she'll know this team better than anyone on her court. She did play many, many seasons in Turkey herself. I like that trust immediately between coach and player, Coach Lavarini. There will be a system in place for this challenge system to make sure the players give him the correct information. If they're sure there's a touch or the ball was in, that's the moment to ask the coach for it. And there you can see exactly what Katakort was asking for a clear touch. She made clear communication with her coach. He was able to call it within time. Boom, point goes to the right side. That's how a challenge is executed perfectly. Well, Zajibashi, well, they've got this weapon on their side. That's somebody you will get used to hearing the name of here tonight. Boscovich with a really quick whip of an arm there, barely even an approach. You saw her just kind of waiting there in the wings. Navarra through the middle. Yes, Kirikela. She is always ready to deliver. One of the taller players out there. She's 1 meter 96, I believe, or 95. But she goes so fast and she's early and she basically just grabs that ball right out of the setter's hands. So tough to defend. I can tell you firsthand. Oh, Heyman. Sends that right back the way of Novara. That's what tell you that basically height's not everything when it comes to being a middle blocker. Only 188 is Laura Heyman but she uses her speed. Here come Novara, three, four. Karsasis. Well, it's a little off the net, but still easily handled on the outside. And these outlet hitters, 
for Izajibashi. Well, this is what you want in your team. Players that can get that ball fast, they can get it high, and get that width. Pretty much anywhere the setter's able to put it, and the Baladin can deliver. Oh, great serve. Ball is coming as a free ball. Should be a perfect opportunity for the Turkish side. Oh, the one-handed set. Come on. Maya Ognjenovic. So it's a little tight here. Watch as she has to go one hand and pushes it back. No way the blockers had any chance to get to that. The speed, the height, and Sine Jackie Sal delivers. The hang and tip from Bozzetti. Doesn't go down, but that one does. Again, Baladin. The release on the outside. Blockers doing their very best. And she goes up against Kitty Kella, who's normally so strong on that inside arm. Great serve again for Azajibashi, but the heat's coming back. Don't count out Novara, especially once Katakurt gets firing. Great work from Battistoni to keep the blockers with her. Open up that pipeline for Katakurt. Bozzetti, or Boscovich, excuse me. Great response by Novara. The first dig puts them in a position to run an offensive play. There it is, right up in the middle from Katakurt. Bozzetti stepping in. Three blockers are up there. Karsas is finding the ever so slight channel between the hands. And that'll do nicely. 5 7. Chance again for Azajabashi. Blocked, slowed down. There's the tip. Great read from Katakurt. Ozeti into a big block. Sine Jakisal, formerly of Megabox Valafolia. Making a huge difference here at the net. Read that really, really well. You saw her pointing before she even knew where the ball was going. She had a feeling following her blocking instincts, gets her feet there, and then follows strong with her arms. Just out from Baladin, letting Novara creep back into this. serve, Alaria Battistoni, the 26-year-old setter from Italy. The responses continue from Azajibashi. Simple serve down the line to Voronkova, and she's going hammering in cross. The 27-year-old Russian has only ever played in Russia before this season. Nine six. Katakurt, she's dug. Oh, good step in there for the set. Not good enough though. I'm not sure what the miscommunication there was. And the Baladin step, stepping in to take the set out of Maya Ognjenovic, but potentially there was enough time for Ognjenovic to get there. Well, seven to nine now for Novara. Tip from Heyman. Here comes Katakurt. Clever move off the hand. So she's one of the younger players out there. What I love about her, she's growing into her game. She used to just be someone that would go up and swing at every single ball. This time she grabs it, pushes it off the outside hand. That's something she's added to her toolkit in recent years. Well, just when you thought Azajibashi had it all going their way, a monster block. That ball landing a little tight for Hammond and the blockers 
Benesi all over that, not letting that go anywhere. Together with Karsasas. Better choice, but the ball's coming back, and this time finds the floor deep in the middle of the court. And for the first time, Novara find themselves in the lead. Great teamwork there by the players in blue. Oh, tough serve. Opportunity for Novara. And it's done. Well placed serve gets his Ajibashi in a lot of trouble. Relatively soft ball comes back over and then Danese cranks one down the middle. That perfect placement. First that dig there by Fersino putting it up on a platter for her setter. Another tough serve. But as Ajibashi get themselves out of a string of points there. Great serve. Another one putting them on the back foot. But Voronkova finds herself some court. 10-11. Great ball in. Sasa, she's dug. Chance again. This time it's Katakort. Did she clip the, not the line? No, she did not. So the point stays with Zajibashi. I like that idea, though. You can see what she's trying to do to get past the blockers rolling on the side of the ball, putting that spin on it. But it just got a little bit away from her. High ball outside, down the line. That's Doug. Comes Voronkova. She goes line as well. Setters out. Chance for Katakurt off the hands and another clever swing from the youngster. 23 year old opposite hammering into Heman. Beating the team on the other side with a bit of speed and power at the same time. Strong serve down the line. Chance outside. What an angle. Boscovich will not be denied. Haven't seen a lot of her yet so far this set. Look at that cut inside the blocker's arm somehow as a lefty kind of goes around the ball on the outside and slices it. Nice ball up again comes Katakort. She's dug. Boscovich from the front court. Off the net. Most people would have just sent a free ball, but not Boscovich. No, sir. She has no fear. Look at this ball again. So it comes off the block or off the defense from all the way behind and outside the court. Bam, she goes firing through. That is aggression if I've ever seen it. Sasse is off block. Karsasis, the 37-year-old outside hitter from Cuba. She also played in Valafolia last season. She's going to step up here to be with Novara. Great ball in. Outside, off the hands. There we go again. Once does Ajibashi get in system, and this, this could be said for really any high-level team, once they get that first ball in place into where the setter wants it, she can run a really difficult offense. And she's, you could see the example right there. Kitakela had too many things to take care of. She couldn't close to that outside block. All right, the youngster, 21-year-old. Kaprak Ekek of Turkey in for the serve. Well, it pays off. Serving sub, strong serve, puts Novara in a difficult position. Trying to get Kirikela running, goes directly into the hands of Baladin. 
Great block for Zadjabashi. They now have a two-point lead again. Tough serve on Bozzetti. Katakur with a tip. Oh, nicely done. Very nicely done. The Black Wolf comes creeping in. So she is not somebody who you think of with all of these tri tricky, sneaky shots. She's someone you think of power and speed and aggression and height, but she has really found a way to just score the ball every time she gets an opportunity. Now, Balanin, on the other hand, she's someone who's really tricky with her shot. She can do speed and power. She loves a fastball to the outside. You can see she's coming in basically at the speed, almost at the tempo of a quick or a middle. And she's beat the block, and then she, all she has to do is push throw that into the middle of the court, and there's nobody there. Well, a lot of pressure on Izajibashi and Moskovic's aces as the best server in the club world champs in 2023. Not on that occasion. Chance for her to swing, though, into block and out. Somehow finds a way to use the blockers, even a well-formed block. And have a look again at this. Danese is there, closes, but she does a good job of getting that outside wrist, basically, of Bozzetti. So there's no way that she can control that ball because it just hits off of her, the side of her wrist, basically. Bozzetti with the response. She's asking for the touch, but I think that might have been in the back of the court as well. Bozzetti's definitely one of those players that can do a lot of sneaky things with her shots. You'll see her work off of hands, go high tips, rolls. On this occasion, just looking for that tiny touch off the top of the block. Great serve. Again, Azajibashi finding themselves out of system and out of luck. Navarra tying it up. The pressure from the service line continues, and that might be one of Coach Lavarini's tactics is to really fire from the end line, not let Izajibashi off the hook in any way. Do not make it easy for them. That's what Lavarini is asking. And that's what Novara are delivering. A tough serve on Baladin. Pipe coming from Boscovich against a three-person block. One slight point advantage, and again, the point advantage now disappeared back to Azajibashi, but still a tough serve, and Lavarini's not going to be too upset about that. You'd much rather see that ball go out of bounds than into the net. There's pressure on the receivers. That's all that the coach can ask. Salia Sain in for the serve for Sine Jakisal. 24-year-old Turkish outside hitter. She's been with the Zajabashi since 2019. Tough serve on Karsasas. And then they're forcing the error. So point goes to Zajabashi. Karakurt asking for another challenge. It's later in the stage. This is only the second challenge we've seen out of Novara. That first one, if you remember, was Karakurt asking for the block touch. She was adamant. Lavrini believed her and they got it. Now this time, equally certain, Katakurt sounded. The question is, will the review prove her right? Or will Izajirashi keep the point? We will get a chance to see it. But first, players can have a chat with their coaches reminding them and what's going on in these kind of timeouts is just kind of reminding each other of things that you've talked about in the scouting sessions before the match even started hey we're going to take line on this player remember what's open in that position here's who your serving target is when a certain player is up at the net she's your priority all these things they're just reminding each other of the things that they've already studied for days and days beforehand so they're not 
trying to reinvent the wheel here in these, in these timeouts. It's all just about having a chat and talking about what you already know. Meanwhile, ball in and out. That ball is out, but oh, ever so slight. So Navarro incorrect in their challenge. That's one challenge lost. 18-18. Oh, and a serve to follow it up. This could be, well, this string of two points in a row could be crucial for Azajibashi. A huge ace. Have a look at it dropping between the two players. That is exactly where you want to serve a ball. If you're targeting the outside hitter, make the libero move. I'm out called. Some little bits of tactic given away there from Lavarini. When there's a smaller blocker up at the net, in this case, it must be that the setter is up. That's someone you want to target and use on the outside. So if the setter Nenovic is front row. She is a target in the block. There's a big blocker in the middle, so more likely to see opening. See the setter opening to the outsides and setting higher balls rather than using that middle zone. One point back on the side of Novara. We are in Novara's home gym, as you can hear from the Italian on the microphone. Ooh, just long, no touch called. Boscovich still yet to find her full rhythm in this match. Well, I think I just saw a category at Ask Danese, did you touch it? She said, nope. So there is a challenge, but even Boscovich herself does not look completely convinced. This could be crucial. We're back to tied game. No touch, not even close. So, a missed opportunity for Izajibashi to have Novara on the back foot and instead the game, the game will stay tied. The gym does not know yet. Now they do. As it erupts in cheer for the home team. All the Italians in the stadium have in front of them many, many of their national team players. In Danese, Kirikella. Various others on the court. Powder court with a tip. That land, nicely done. Point goes to the team in blue. A great pickup. Timeout is Ajibashi. Well, you heard Coach Akbash. Well, he's won every league there is to, to win, basically. Turkish, Polish, Chinese, Romanian. He knows how to put together a winning team. And he's just reminding his players, hey, I want some response out of you from the service lines. Fast, aggressive, put pressure on the other team because that's what Navarra is doing to them. Comes Voskovic into the net. And the home team pick up another point in the right direction. Perfect ball in from Baladin. 
That ball dying maybe a little bit inside, but Boscovich can usually handle that from anywhere on the court, any height, any width, any speed. Trying to do a bit too much with it that time. She'll go again, off hands. That's much better out of the opposite. And we've got the Serbian setter and the Serbian opposite. Those two know each other so well from national team as well. Onjanovic has an Olympic silver medal from 2016, a bronze medal from 2021. Boscovic was the best opposite at the Olympics at 2021. Oh, what a rally. Continues and a free ball for Zajabashi. And eventually it is put away by the team in orange. You're not going to hear any cheers in the stadium for them. But I'm sure their fans will be cheering worldwide. What a snap by Heyman. Just over the top of the blockers in front of her. And it is now a three-point race to the finish of this set. Down the line to Karsasas, handles it. She'll go off the hands of the block, still alive. Chance with no block, good dig. Here comes Karakurt, and she will not be slowed down. It's almost as if there is no block in front of her, the way that she swung on that ball. Great dig, followed up by a good push out. And how about the facial expressions between the two of them? Karakurt versus Boscovich all day long. It is a battle of the opposites. Well, some big blocks to respond. Herman staying involved and aggressive at the net. Again, shutting down Karsasas in combination with Voronkova. Three points apiece. Who's going to race to two? Katakurt. That one's staying in. She'll go again. This time a tip. Clever, but it's red. Oh, what a defensive effort. Let, let's go, Novara. Boscovich cannot get a break today. First of all, amazing pickup. Boscovich read that so well, but somehow <laughs> defending with the face is Battistoni. She might need a quick timeout to make sure everything's okay, but I'm sure she's happy to sacrifice herself for that point. Well, Novara now have a chance to close out this set. And here is what Coach Akbash was talking about. They don't have a setter on court right now. They've, they have made that substitution, Battistoni, out. And there's a player in. Looks like Julia Tuma for the block. So this will be a high. If the ball goes back over to Novara, it's going to be a high ball set. But first, it's an ace. No need to discuss it. No need to worry about your blocking lineup when you've got Katakurt at the line serving like that. What a way to finish. Well, Katakurt has a little bit of a chip on her shoulder against this Turkish squad. She knows that she is one of the few Turkish players to come over to Italy and play outside of her home country. She wants to bring them home a champion. That's how it was done. 25-23. A 
it looked as if Azajibashi had that match in the bag. They came out firing in the beginning. They were up something like they were up like five or six three seven three. That little bit of an advantage in the beginning, but here's how the stats went. One ace apiece. Not much in the attacks. The blocks much better by Azajibashi. Well, we knew it was going to be a battle of the opposites, as it often is in volleyball. But right now, Eberhard Karakort coming out on top for Novara. She had eight points in that set. If you compare that to Boscovich on the other side, only five. Now, Boscovich did have 30 points last time we saw her on court. So expect her to heat up a little bit more. But she hasn't really been getting things going just yet on her side. For Zajibashi, the second top scorer is Handa Baladin, or I should say the top scorer, with six points, just above Boscovich. And the third top is Laura Heyman in the middle. For Novara, though, a well-spread-out offense. Garcasas with four points, Katakort with eight, as mentioned. And then one point for Danesi, Kirikela, Bozetti, and Hilaria Battistoni, I think with that face defense earlier on against Boscovich which really paved the way for that final aggressive ace serve from Katakurt. A little bit of luck, maybe a little bit of Champions League magic happening there. Nevertheless, the first set is in the bag for the home team, Novara. And now the onus is on Izajibashi to bring themselves back level because you definitely don't want to be down two sets to zero to a team like Novara. And here we go. Set number two under, uh, underway for this semifinal of the Champions League. Novara looking for the first block. Sasa is pretty sure. It looked like that did fall through her hair, potentially. The question is, is the hair, well, does that count as a touch? I know it has done in the past. I'm not sure that it does anymore. Great swing over and out of bounds. So the point goes back the way of Novara. Now back to that point before about the hair. I have seen before players, I know Lonica Slotch has once had her hair in a braid and it hit her braid on the way through. Next time she put it in a bun. That was then, this is now. Hanman getting herself back involved in the offense. Well, at least holding the blockers for Baladin to have that bit of Base there, that slice down the middle. Aggressive serve. Can't fault the players for trying to find that end line. That's exactly what the coaches will be wanting from them. A couple of inches in the wrong direction. Counter courts. 
Oh, again. Two aces. <laughs> she had to turn around and make sure she knew which way to, to cheer. Where's the fan club again? There it is. Oh, what an ace. Perfectly placed with aggression, with spin, and it's dropping right in front of Ronkova. Two aces now. Goes for another one. Bit of help from the net. Baladin is sent packing. Huge block from Kirikela. And that's what we talked about earlier on in the match. She normally has that inside arm absolutely locked in. You watch it as she goes over the net with that inside, that left arm that's cutting off the angle to the court. Does not let Baladin through. 4-2. Well, it's still a good ace to error ratio for Katakort. Off the hands. Oh, nicely pushed through. Upstats is waiting, catching Jackie Sal on that inside spot. Right between herself and the outside blocker. Oh, what a dig. Chance for Novara. Nope, it's going to be a free ball. Easy pickup for Izajibashi. And an even faster and easier swing for Boscovich. Now, we mentioned it earlier on. We're not... You're not. I'm not. I am, actually. I am going to want to see Boscovich getting fired up. But if you're a fan of Novara or these players on the court in blue, they are not going to let her get into her element. Six four. Novara still with a two-point lead. It was Izachibashi who had that two-point lead pretty much throughout the set in the first one. Now the pressure from the serve really paying off. Oh, ball still alive. Not for long, though. And look at Stefano Laverini on the left-hand side of your screen. He was adamant that that ball should have been ended I think it was right there. I think it was that set from Ognanovic that he just didn't like. Either way. Can, well, good thing that all the players kept playing because the ref was not ready to blow the whistle anytime soon. Seven to four. Big block. Huge block through the middle. I thought that serve was a little close to the end line. But nevertheless, Danese catching that one-on-one. -on -one. It's 8-4. What a lead for Novara. And a timeout called. Ferhat Akbash needing a lot more aggression out of his players. They are being put on the back foot by this service pressure from Novara. They are relentless. He wants to see the same thing out of his players when they step back to the line. They've got their target, Karsasis. But Kirikela targeting Baladin this time. Free ball coming back over. This should be put away. Oh, be out of system. Well, the situation not handled perfectly by Novara, but they get a little bit of luck there, a little bit of help. 
from that outswing. Nine four. Is that what Izajibashi needed? A serve into the net could be exactly the moment that you start to see momentum changing. A bit of belief creep back in on the yellow or the orange jersey side. Navarro to the outside. Blocked and out. So just like that, they get themselves back in the serving position. And that's kind of the, the game of volleyball, is not to go on a string of points or not to lose a string of points. So Zajibashi get themselves the point, and then immediately Bozzetti siding out for her team. So they keep that five-point lead. Matistoni. Oh, great dig. Overpassed. Chance on the outside for Voronkova, and she goes past a big block. You can see the aggression start to creep in. Looks like Azadjabashi getting really frustrated with Novara blocking and touching and defending absolutely everything. So Voronkova goes heavy into the cross court. MVP of the Russian League in 2021, she was. Well, it's definitely not too late for Zajbashi to come back into this set. Still early days. But sooner rather than later. Wankova again into a big block. But just wide. Karakur and Danesi perfectly placed. But that last bit of finish there. You watch that inside arm of Karakur. She's facing out of bounds. So Voronkova can use that. She can go hard and heavy into that hand. And just pure physics, it's going to go out of the court. Nicely done. Good response. So maybe only had one point, I believe, in the first set. She's been active in the defense. Another heavy serve, but a good position for Zajabashi. Tip from Voskovic. Great dig. No, it's out of bounds. And on Novara roll, point for point. They have just turned up another level in this second set. They have not given... Zajibashi a chance to breathe at all. Watch the slide coming. Nope. Cross. Nice set from Bozzetti while she's falling to the ground. That is how it's done. Absolute perfection. She is one of those players with such good ball handling skills. Comes from a family of volleyball players. Let's watch it again. Diving. Make sure she puts it up high and wide and with some pace. That's just, that's elite. Change coming for Izajibashi. Yasmin Kuvali, 24 year old Turkish middle blocker. Oh, an ace serve. An ace serve just when Izajibashi do not need it. Danesi off the net and well, almost targeting the middle blocker who's just come in. And generally, by and large, those ones that touch the net and fall, that belongs to the middle blocker. Come on, two aces in a row. Absolutely destroying Izajibashi from the service line. About time, a timeout's called 16-7. Watch out, can 
Danesi, number 11, una certezza. Like a certainty. She's a certainty, I think is what that translates to. And she has been certainly impressive from the end line. Two aces in a row, going for a third. Not this time, but a great defense. Oh, and the whistle's blown. Kirikala, I think, called into the net. So the question is, was anybody in the net? I think that's what the whistle has been blown. So she's saying, no lo so, I don't know if I was in the net. It's not very convincing. If I'm the coach, I might just let that one pass and keep that, keep that challenge in the pocket for later on. Although this is the momentum game that the coaches are playing. So Navarra had the momentum, and there you can see she was clearly in the net. Probably best to just pass that one up and move on. But on they go. Navarra still with a hefty lead. No need to stress too much just yet. In the mind of Lavarini, he wanted to continue the pressure, didn't want to let Azajibashi off with a freebie, but they will come hammering back. It's 8 to 16. Off the hands. Chance behind. Oh, great dig. There's the ball outside. Just tipped, easily read. Amjanovic back outside to Baladin. Another netball called. A couple times in a row now, unforced errors. That great dig. Man, that is such a good up. Well, I'm not sure that she was in the net, but that definitely the ball went out off of her hands. Hold on, Kabat. Gotten off the line now. Finally for Novara to get back into there. Offensive rhythm. Looks like it might be too late for Zajibashi to get back into this set, but they need to work on their momentum at least. High ball, tight ball, advantage to the blockers, but Baladin doing some magic there. That ball coming so far from out of bounds over her shoulder. See, the blockers are well and truly set up, but clever. Clever move from Baladin. She targets Battistoni in the front court. The smaller blocker. Always going to have more luck there. Sort of gets Navarra off the net. Karsas is still coming, firing through. Well, a few players asking for the touch. The question, or the problem, I should say now, for Navarra is... They only have one challenge left. If they lose it, it's done. Wasted that challenge earlier on the net touch of Kirikela. Now we're looking for a block touch off of Karsas' attack. It's an art form in itself as to when to use these challenges. You saw it executed perfectly in that first set in the first couple of points when Catacourt was certain she had a touch. She went immediately to her coach and said, please challenge for touch. Oh. So no block touch. So there we go. Two challenges wasted. Novara no longer have a challenge in this set. Could that be? A small advantage for Zajibashi as they continue to put pressure down the stretch. Strong serve on the target. Ball kept alive for Zajibashi. High ball behind. Boscovich goes for it and she gets it. 
That's what she is known for, those high release sets basically out of nowhere. So this ball just on the net, really inside, and still finds a way. Well, Pavarini. He has some plans for this rotation. The server, as you can see, is the middle blocker. First of all, you can always target her in the offense. But second of all, maybe keep the blocker tight with you. Bring your setter, bring your middle in close to the setter, and then you can open up wide to the wings. Let's see if they do. Well, a wide swing from Catacourt. Questions are being asked. So Lavarini has no more challenges left. The question that Novara would like, they would like the referee to use their own challenge if they don't know if there was a touch or not at the net. But referee does not have to do that. So is Ajibashi quietly just chipping away at the lead? Another good ball in. Middle stays tight. Opens it up outside, but it's still a good dig. Baladin heavy into the block. That's covered. Ognjanovic behind to Boscovic. The tip throw. Well kept alive. Karsasis gets one down the middle back. It's good work by Novara to keep their heads on in that point. They're not a forward, or at least don't want let themselves get pulled into all the emotional drama happening back and forth between the referees and the coaches and the players. Just continue playing their game. 18-13. Oh, that one's deep. Coming back over. Free ball for Novara to Kirikela, who gets one past. She's been quiet in the offense for a little while. But always available, always ready for her setter. She is there, up early. Arm is waiting to just whip at it. Gets one down as the two blockers are diving towards to close up the channel. That one meant a lot to her, it meant a lot to her team. And they are back on track, it looks like. 19-13. Oh, tough serve again. That one handled nicely, though. Boscovich. High and deep, that's her game, that's her swing. Over the block, hit that end line basically. Only one blocker in front of her and it's just a smaller one at that. Not the kind of player that you want to leave a one-on-one -on -one against. Moskovic out for the serving sub. Salia Sain. Off the hands. Recycled. Outside goes Baladin. And she goes heavy into Battistoni. Now we talked about it earlier. Battistoni being the smaller targeted player at the net often. Finds herself one on one almost. Goes pressing low and tight and aggressive over the net. That's the way to block if you're a smaller player. Don't reach for balls. Don't go high and weak. You want strength in your shoulders. You just want to go straight over the net where you are. Well, we'll have to have another look at that one. Kirikela is certain the ball was out. Yep. 
So the referee will have a conversation with the line judge just to make sure the right call is made. That's the correct decision by Oliver Guillet. If you don't know, bring in your backups. Get a chance to have another look at that. Nice, fast, wide swing. Kitty Kella is on the line, so if it didn't hit her, it had to be out. Now there's a challenge. Oh, that's so close. That is so close. I thought Kitty Keller's feet were even closer than that to the sideline. Interesting. No conspiracy theories here. That was the ball. Great serve. Oh, great dig as well. Kitty Keller as a middle blocker getting involved in the defense. That is playmaking right there. You think you're going to target the middle and get a free point? Not today, says Kitty Keller. Bam, that's up. Fast to the outside and a combination play. Put it away. Great teamwork. No substitution made. 22 to 14, Novara continue pressuring on. Well, there was a substitution, excuse me. Beza Arici, Turkish middle blocker in for Sine Jakisal. Tip throw from Baladin. Now it may not be the flashiest of points, but have a look at how she grabs it in the air. Almost holds it a second, a split second longer than you expect, and then throws it into the block. So she's, she's, you know, borderline. She's dancing with the rules there, but it's so tough to block. Good pick up for Azajibashi. Chance again. Oh, a couple times with the block, but Elif Sahin, the Turkish setter in, gets her first dump. She's a little taller at 190, able to get those sneaky shots at the net. Aggressive serve. Outside, and the block is good. Couple of fresh faces on the side of Azajibashi making a difference right now. The middle blocker and the setter together, pressuring over the net, forcing Rosetti to do something else with it. Great response. 17-22. Arsas is still targeted. Oh, great pickup. Perfect pickup. And then a firing comes through. Rosetti into the block, and Azajibashi have turned up the heat. All starting with this pickup from Akoj. The 31 year old libero keeps the ball alive. The high set. No chance and timeout. Simple feedback from Lavarini. I want you swinging high. Do what you've been doing all match long. 
choose your shots that are high and deep. Yes, there's a taller setter in play now, and she's going to take up more space. But still, just do what you've been doing. Don't think about closing out the, the set. Think about playing your best volleyball. That's my best translation for you as well. Hope that's helpful for non-Italian speakers. Big swing from Katakurt, just doing what Katakurt does. <laughs> and you kind of think, as she's staring down the players on the other side, those are her teammates with the Turkish national team. So it's nothing but love, love usually, but she's got to let them know, today we are enemies. Doesn't matter how many medals we have together with the Turkish national team. Overpassed. Oh, good pick up, and it goes over. So the luck is not only on Novara's side. Ronkava sneaking one past. That's a good block and a good self-cover, but Novara caught sleeping there as it trickles back over the net. It's not over yet. 19-23. Arici with a tough serve, but an even tougher response from Danese, one of the best attackers as far as middle blockers go in the game. 26-year-old middle blocker from Italy, played in Monza last year, but she's also been in Conigliano. Best middle of the world champs, 2022. It's set point for Novara. Oh, good pickup. It's their opportunity to get it now again through Danese. Does she do it? Not yet. Oh, what a defense. I've all set. Karsasis will find a way. Yes, she will. That is how you play volleyball as a team. Everyone firing, covering each other, and making sure they are playing their best volleyball together. Everyone helping the other to get a better version of the ball. It's a good pick up there by Azajabashi. Trying to keep things alive. But the bump set from Danese Karsasa is high and deep. Just like her coach asked. And the stadium erupts as the home team take the second set. 25-19. But they just eked out the first one, 25-23. And now they have two full sets in the bag, heading into set number three. There's the stats. Novara with three aces. Zajibashi with none. The attack's the same. The block's just one more from Novara. And some pretty good reception on both sides. But it is Novara who take the second set. And they will be comfortably headed into the third. Stefano Lavarini, a great clash between two very strong teams. What are your expectations for the second part of the game and what are your feelings so far about your team performance? But we just need to try to play good volleyball, to keep putting a great attention to our side out. And uh, I mean, we started in a good way. We know that is everything very long and we must keep our focus.
What are your feelings about the game so far, about your team performances, and what are your expectations about the second half of the game? First of all, we need to forget these two sets. It's in the past, but we can change the future for sure. To do that, we need to serve better. We are making a lot of mistakes. We need to st stop Evrar. Evrar is in critical moments, the, uh, how do you say, fire of the opponent team. We need to stop for sure, and especially easy mistakes, we need to get better. Well, I love that we get to chat to the coaches in the middle of the games. This is something new that's just been added in the last couple of seasons between Volleyball World and the CEV. Chatting to the coaches, it's never easy because one of them is in a great mood and one of them's not. I've been down there courtside with them before, but they're always really good-natured about it, and it's something we're trying to... We're just trying to add it in and add that element for you, the viewers at home. And if you're enjoying it, well, let us know. You can give us our feedback through the socials. CEV is online everywhere you get your social media fix. But I think a lot of things were said in there within very few words. For Izajibashi, Coach Akbash, he mentioned the serving. So they have eight errors in the serve so far. That's a, that's a tough statistic only because they only have one ace. So if they were getting a lot of aces, and that error ratio would be a little bit more equal. So if you look over at Novara, they have four aces and three errors. That's a much better ratio. So they're being aggressive in the serve, but they're keeping it within the bounds of play. So that's what Coach Akbash would like from his team a little bit more. But again, everything's in the past. So neither team can be too happy or too upset about what's happened. There's still three more potential sets to play. Also, Zajibashi do need to slow down at Katakort. She has been on fire. 12 points for her so far in these two sets. Next, right behind her is Karsasis with nine. And Anna Danese, after those two A serves, has six points. On the other side of the net, Zajibashi. Well, Handa Baladin has been the best so far with 10 points. Behind her, Tiana Boscovich with eight. So if you remember, after the first set, Boscovich had only five points. Now she has eight. I'm doing the math there. Three points she's had in this set. So not a great performance by her. And she's normally so, so consistent and so such a threat. She is so dangerous when she wants to be. And you saw little peaks of that. She can get that really high ball from out of system and really make something of it when she swings high and deep. She's absolutely unstoppable, but hasn't really been in her rhythm just yet. So if she... If she if Zajibashi can get her firing and slowing down Katakurt at the same time, well, it could start to be a different looking match. Of course, they're going to want to start a lot faster than they did. Get on the board earlier. But still lots of volleyball to play. Here we go then. Set number three. Onyanovic with the first serve down the line to Karsasis. That's been the target all match long. She responds like that. Oh, what a shot. Beautifully done. That's exactly what Izajibashi need more of. So the block was there from Danese. They recycled. They go again and cut that really sharp one. That's something Azajibashi can pick up. More coverage of their hitters. Give themselves chances to attack one, two, three times in a row or be a little bit more clever just like that. Katakurt, I've harped on about it since the very beginning. You've seen her swing aggressive and that's what the blockers are expecting. But when she switches it up and finds a way she is really difficult to stop. Roll from Baladin. Katakort again. This time, heavier. Good dig, though. Free ball coming. Rosetti all over it. Fast to Kirikela, who slowed down. Well, you kind of had a feeling that ball was going to go to the middle. On a perfect pass like that. That is exactly what Arichi imagined as well. Oh, come on, tough serve. Oh, two times in a row. Two 
stuffs on the same player. This time it was actually Cuvelli who got the block. Only 24 years old, but was the best blocker of the Turkish Cup in 2019. Putting that on display now here against Novara. Katakurt finds a way. She has been so tough to stop. She's making the right decision almost every single time. So she's got two blockers up, targeting the inside hand of a player that she'll know well. Turkish middle blocker against her who's been with Azadjabashi since 2019, is Gavelli. Tough block, that's coming back, chance again. Off the hands, or maybe off the antenna. Ball went out of bounds. Stays with the team in blue. Have another look at that. Yep, Baladin looking for the space between Battistoni and the line. And instead finds the antenna, and it's 3-3. Another tough serve. And the blockers do not relent, Battistoni. I love when a smaller blocker gets those kind of shots. So she's been the target over and over, and Baladin, you can see, just hanging. She's waiting to push off the hands and out of bounds, but Battistoni just low and disciplined and not flailing with her arm, just goes straight over where she is, strong in her shoulders. That's all you can ask from a smaller blocker. Four, four. Aggressive serve. There's the tip. Again, this time it's picked up though. Responded by Boscovich. Katakurt now from the other side. So she tips from the pipe in the middle. Moves around back to her position. And gets that attack on the right side. Great communication and great teamwork between herself and her setter. Targeting the middle blocker who's just served. That's two errors in a row in the serve from Novara. We didn't see a lot of them. If you remember, coming into this set, they only have four errors in total in those last two sets. Oh, good pick up. Again, Catacourt firing home, and she does it. She has been relentless. The arm on that woman is, well, the bane of his existence. The coach over there, Ferhat Akbash, asking his players to try and slow her down, but easier said than done. Captain Christina Kirikella. Down the line, but too much line. Novara certain that it's out. We'll have another look at it here. Baladin putting that in. Oh, tough to see. You can see Baladin there with her hand up, though. 7 5, two point advantage for Novara. Kikela, world champs, silver medalist in 2018, bronze in 2022. And Zajibachi sneak it through. You can hear a bit of screaming now. I think their backs are truly against the walls. They're not finding ways past Novara. And they need to find solutions. And uh, Baladin, 25-year-old Turkish outside hitter. 
He's played formerly in Galatasaray, Serie. Never outside of Turkey, though. Good pick up. Double cold. A ball handling error. We haven't seen much out of that call so far. Don't have a chance to look at it. There's the pickup. And Tony doing her best. She's fallen over a little bit as she tries to set that. So 7-7 seven, seven now. Baladin. Again on Karsasa. She's been handling her targeting really well, though. Oskovic again sent back outside to Voronkova. She's dug. Here comes. Was there a touch on the block? No whistles blown. I think the referee has called his own video challenge. Oliver Guillet of France doing the right thing. If you don't know what's happened, rely on the technology. Get the right team, the right point. This, this is a moment where momentum, neither team has really got that much steam going, but Izajibashi cannot afford to allow any freebies to Navarra. So the challenge, I think, was whether or not that ball went straight in the net. I think it was a, a catacourt swing that the block did not touch. So on they play. Zajibashi will get the point. And the Baladin. Best server of the Turkish Cup in 2020. Back to the line. Ooh! Just looking for the dribbler. Luck is not falling on Izajibashi's side, that's for sure. Batistoni. One of the super blockers so far for Novara. Oh, great dig. Just wide, though. Bersino doing her very best to keep that off the floor. The 23-year-old libero. And Boscovich hasn't been firing like her usual self. Could this be the change? Good handling by Voronkova. Those kind of balls you don't often see them mishandled but a couple of times if an overpass comes over your way at this high level you must put it back on the floor on the other side that's exactly what Azajibashi have done they now have a two-point advantage here in the third good strong serve but that one not handled well the overpass nevertheless a touch in the net is called no challenge going to be asked I think it was It was Bozzetti there that just took responsibility. Yep, you can see your elbows there. Timeout called. Lavarini asking for some patience out of his players. They've done a good job to get themselves here. The block defense is working well, just a little bit more in the transition plays, being a little patient, searching for those high hands, just choosing their shots. Not oh, tough serve. Heavy swing, that's Doug. And out of bounds it goes, so a point back on the side for the home team. Some 
Clever moves at the net. Back to Stoney. Only three points, but she's been crucial in the defense and also stepping into set every once in a while. Oh, nice cross court, but that's Doug. Catacourt losing her footing. Good stabbing dig there from Battistoni. Twelve nine. Zajabashi back to a three point lead. And Anjanovic, the thirty eight year old Serbian. With an aggressive serve from the end line. Barely any float on it and just dropping at the last minute. Well, Janovic has signed to play in Italy next season for Scandici. I'll be looking at those aces. But for now, a big block from Boscovic. Did it land out of bounds? That's the call. Arsas is calling it out. Off the arm of Boscovic. Stays with Novara. 10 serving 13. Ronkava sends one right back. Ronkava already has a Champions League gold from 2014 and a bronze from 2012 with Dynamo Kazan. Should be looking for another medal. This time around. Oh, great swing, great pickup. Boscovic sends one back. The defense working hard. Over from Ogenovic. Navara out of their comfort zone, but does Azajabashi send it back? Yes, they do. What a slice. Boscovic. There she is. She's been a sleeping giant so far this match, but that's what she's capable of. The inside slice and dice is what they call it. Ogenovic <laughs> with the Serbian high five to her teammate. Those two. Many a match together. points so far for Katakurts. Two of them coming from aces. Back in the mix for the block. I think this might mean that there's no setter on Novara's side. Indeed it does, so they'll have to remember that if they make the defense. Not yet. Ball comes back. Tip thrown, no setter. High from, from Kirikela. Free ball. Was there a touch? Waiting for the hand. There it is. No touch. No touch called. Is it worth the challenge? Arsaces thinks there might have been. And again, this is crucial for Izajibashi. Not so much for Novara because they do have that cushion. They've got two sets in the bag. They don't have to be too stressed. Bought this third one, but you cannot let Izajibashi back in. They will give them a hand. They'll take your whole arm. No block touch. The point stays with Novara. Navara 12, Izajibashi 15, and a timeout on the floor. We take this just to keep the atmosphere down, okay? Girls, pay attention. Remember, I repeat, Ituma, there is no setter on the court. Both sides slow ball, pay attention, left hand at Ituma, okay? In difficult moments, they can tip. Go, you are one to one, okay? Hi. A 
little sneak peek into the mind. Coach Ferhat Akbash. He's got a Club World Champs gold from 2014, a bronze from 2023. Just this season earlier with this team. Just took that time out to calm down the nerves, maybe slow down some of the momentum that Navarra might be on the verge of getting. A reminder that the middle is going to be one-on-one -on -one where they should be attacking. Just some basic tips. The ball in. Oh, good cross from Boscovich. She is back. The lefty gets a nice wide ball and she can slice past Judy Keller's inside arm. Four point advantage for the team in orange. Belly down the line. Ball into a block. The first swing I think we've seen out of Julia Tuma. The 18-year-old Italian opposite, formerly of Club Italia, not finding a way past the blockers that time. 17-12. Well handled by Bozzetti. Garsas is behind. She's picked up off the block. Back again to Bozet. Boscovich, excuse me, in the block is ready and waiting. I think they've learned now not to leave one on one against Boscovich. And if you can take that angle on her, watch Katie Kella diving over. She's not just trying to go up, she's basically diving back inside to cut off that angle that Boscovich loves so much. Oh, great reception. Good response from Kirikela again. And there it is. Just dribbling it past. Bit of help from the net. And a good chance to get a second time. That's the covering. That's the patience that both teams are looking for. If the first time doesn't go, someone get your hands under the ball and allow... Your team to go again. Change is made. Boscovich out. Salia Salin Sahin, excuse me, for the serve. Kitty Keller off the block. Fast, high. Well, Kitty Keller's been with Novar since 2014. Knows this team better than anyone else. Has a European Champs bronze from 2019 as well. Gold in 2021. Fair few amount of VNL appearances. They got gold in 2022. Boscovich continuing to chip away. Now she is in her, well, her rhythm, I suppose. High inside, not a perfect set by any means. Somehow beats the blockers, 19 to 14. In goes Battistoni. That double sub just to keep the setter in the backcourt. Catacourt is in as well. Can they be the difference makers? Two big blocks. For Battistoni. No touch off of Boscovich. Point stays with the home team. More of that if you're a Novara fan. Aggressive from the service line has been the key for Novara so far. And that one on, on their libero as well. The libero of Izajibashi. Akosh not able to handle the heat. Second time much better. Good pick up. Pipe coming from Karsasa. She's dug. 
comes Boscovich, and again doing Boscovich things. First she defends, then the ball coming from backcourt. She stays within her realm. And fires one through. Yeah, Prake Erkek played in Poland last season. The 21 year old in for the serve. 2016. She's targeting Bozzetti down the line. And Katakort is always there. We haven't heard a lot of her as she sat on the bench for a couple of rounds, but now that she's back in, get ready to see her firing up again. She brings not only that kind of attack and that pressure from the front court, but she's got the energy, the aggression. She's just an all-around influential player. Yanovic back to the outside, cross, and Voronkova. Nice fast arm, fast swing. Also running that with some speed is Yanovic. Freebie back to Novara. Zadrashi do not yet have this set in the bag, and they're only three points up. Benezi. Sends one back. Twenty-two eighteen, And Zadrashi close it out on a run of serves. Russian, Voronkova. Does not put them in a position to do so. Three errors in a row. Right now, for each of these teams. Katakort, she's had her fair share of aces and errors. Tough one. Oh, but the ball is straight into the setter, running the middle. A great cover, but nobody else is there. That's good reactions by Kirikela. The blockers paying attention, not allowing that dump to go through. Kirikela keeping it alive, but nobody else on Novara. Seeing it early enough. 23-19. Sajabashi looking like they've got this set in the bag, which they must do if they want to stay alive. Well, you had a feeling this might be going five sets. But for now, we'll have to be kept in suspense a little bit longer. I wonder why Lavarini changed his timeouts to English. Every other timeout was in Italian when he was giving really specific tactical advice. And now just a little bit of motivation in English. Well, there you go. Don't lose focus. 23-19. Izajibashi are on the verge of the third set. Up serve to Bozzetti. Arsace is deep to the corner. Does she get a touch? Well, no touch is called, and no questions are asked. That's still a that's a smart swing, though. No argument about that. She's targeting the, either the hands or the deep corner. 24 to 19. Off the net. Pipe coming from Katakort. She'll get another one. Change 
of personnel. Gaia Giovanni, the 22-year-old Italian outside hitter, formerly of Cuneo, comes in to serve for Navarra. Set point for Izajibashi, though. A lot of pressure for the youngster. Aggressive serve over pass. Well, is that how the set ends? Whistle blown on an overpass attacked. It won't end just yet. The question being asked, was that attack legal? Did the ball cross the plane of the net before the attacker went and grabbed it? Was there a net touch on the attack? What was illegal about that? We will see in just a moment. Hopefully we'll get a chance to look at the replay. Well, Zajibashi do already have a huge advantage. And if this goes their way, well, the set will be done and dusted and we'll be moving on to the fourth. But if not, Novara could hang on and fight another day. The faces of players who don't look convinced one way or another, just waiting for the result. Navarra, after such a almost perfect first two sets, all things going their direction. Well, the video challenge have decided we're not allowed to see the entire part. All we can see is that there was no net touch. So is Ajibashi keep the point? And the set goes to them. 25 to 20. And there you go. Confirmation of those scores. Novara winning the first two, 25-23 and 25-19. But we knew Azajibashi would not roll over. They are a team of superstars, to say the least. And the Serbian magic returned between Ognjenovic and Boscovic. Zajibashi had one ace, a few more attacks, one more block, and pretty equal in the receptions. But overall, just played a much more consistent game, much more aggressive from the serve line. All the things that Navarro was doing in the first two sets, Zajibashi picked up on, and they turned their game around. And now, well, we have a fight on our hands. Well, we knew it would be a fight, and it would come down to well, a couple of players, as it has done. Ebrar Karakurt has 19 points so far. 
for Novara. She has been one of their huge weapons. She was indeed slowed down just a little bit in that third set, exactly like Coach Gerhard Akbash asked for. And who's been woken up? None other than Tiana Boscovich, now with 15 points. You remember she had just eight at the end of those first two sets. So almost the same amount of points in two sets as she now had in that last third set. And that, for me, is the difference maker. Those two players are crucial for their team, not only in point scoring, but in momentum and as well in the psychological aspects of things. So now the question is, who will respond first? Who will come out firing? Will it be Azajibashi or Novara on their home soil, their home turf? Keeping in mind that this is a semi-final. Set number four underway. And Novara fire first. An ace serve from Novara. Katarina Bozzetti. The 29-year-old Italian outside hitter. Goes back to do it again. Whistleblown on another net touch. This time it goes the way of Azajibashi. One one. The Russian torpedo fires at Karsasis. It's not enough. Tip picked up into the hands of the blockers. Going again is Zajibashi. And the blockers are there, slowing her down. A monster block indeed. Anna Danesi cuts off the angle from Boscovich. Absolutely nowhere for the captain to go. There are the blocks. Seven for Navarre, eight for Zajibashi. Great combination play there, using the middle on that perfect pass. Yasmin Kuveli, two-time CV Cup winner. He heads to the line. Two points apiece. Right down the line. So now they've started targeting Fersino in the reception. She's pretty much alone, taking half the court. Still getting Novara on the back foot, getting them out of system. That's exactly what Azajibashi need to do more of and continue to do as they did in that third set. Down the line again to Fersino. Better pass. Block off the hands. And Karsasas picks it up. Good set, but inside for Zajibashi to get a good touch on that. Love those reactions from Karsasas. Karakurt. Top down the middle to Veronkova. Boscovich. Easy peasy, picks it off high, swings deep. That's her bread and butter. Yanovich flinging it back there. Look at the width on that ball as well. She had that all the way to the antenna almost, so she's able to make choices with it. Those balls that die a little inside, that's where she has to get really creative and aggressive with those angles. But as soon as it goes wide and high, it's when she has the upper hand over the blockers. Boscovich hasn't yet found her serving rhythm. Her attacking rhythm has picked up. But still, no aces as of yet. Oh, good touches by Novara, but the net is unforgiving. 
That's tougher than it looks as well. It's a good dig there by Catacourt, but as soon as it goes in the net, whoever the defending player is that tries to bring it out of the net is kind of at the mercy of how the net reacts to the ball, the physics of it, how tight it is, whether it hits in the middle or at the bottom or at the top. It's just really tough to bring it back out. Moskovic blocked again. Better swing, better finish, and Boscovich to the corner. Akbash with the fist pump. I mean, he knows how important she is as a weapon for his team. Oh, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect on the line. This is Ajibashi team looks a lot different without her firing. Big swing. Was there a net called? Nope, just out. Oh, potentially a touch on it. Is it worth a challenge? I don't think anybody else saw it except once there was a slow mo on it, so I'm not called. asking his players to play the ball that they're given. Basically, if it's a perfect set, that's the time to go really aggressive, maybe go for those angles. But if the ball's out of system, maybe cuts, rolls, tips off the hands, deep into the corner, force somebody to play the setter or the middle. Just knowing the ball that you're given as an attacker is half the battle. The other thing on Navarra's side, Coach Lavarini reminding Battistoni that the blockers are kind of pinching in, so they're expecting that ball to go middle. You can open it up for those wide swings. Free ball coming for Novara. Handled. Outside, off the block, recycled again. Here comes Katakort. She's blocked three times in a row. Morokova <laughs> with the chest pump. You know what? If you can slow down this Novara offense three times in a row, you deserve a little chest pump. Love that. <laughs> yes. Come on. The Zajibashi have turned up the heat. Novara had all the momentum and all the aggression in the first two sets. Things seem to have turned. Another one. Give them another one. The blocks keep on falling. Way out of system is Novara. Rosetti, nowhere to go but into the big arms of the middle blocker. Guvelli. Another tough serve. Well, Ferhat Akbash celebrating a little too early there. Cannot forget. You can never, ever forget that Ebrar Karakort is in the mix. She was the best opposite at the VNL in 2019. Battistoni's going to find her every single time. Oh, great shot. Great shot. We haven't seen a lot of offensive action from the young middle blocker there, Yasmin Kubili. But what a time to get her involved. That's clever from the veteran, Ognjenovic. Speaking of getting your middles involved, Danese, she's always there. She's always ready to attack. Sony reading the room. The blockers kind of pinched in as well. Ronkova, a part of that defensive action. 
7-10. Push to the outside. Boscovich off hands. Nowhere to go but into the stadium. Wonder what that conversation is about afterwards. That ball really, really inside, and you wonder if that was part of the plan. If that was the ball that Boscovich was calling for. Arsaces up into the middle. Catacourt, cross court with some heat. Never fails. When she gets her arm going, get out of the way. That's all I can say. Full body, full power. Cross to Ogninovich. Oh, nice tip. Very nicely done. So Boscovich, again, one of those players. You'll see a lot of swings out of her, and she has so many options with her arm swing. I mean, she can make angles that you've never seen before. But as soon as she's clever with it like that, all the play players on their defense, on their heels in defense, Absolutely no one was going to touch it. 12-8. Very close to the service line, but no whistle blown. Good pickup. Off the hands. Recycled for Zajibashi. Quick ball behind to Boscovich, and again. Doing what she does. Never say never when she's on the court. Minovich. Such a tough setter to read as well. You saw that ball hang in her arms a little bit as she then flings it behind, catching Kirikela that one step late. And Kirikela, one of the best blockers there are. So if you can keep her out of the blocking game, you're doing something right. Navarra bring in Mackenzie Adams, the American outside hitter, the 30-year-old that actually formerly played in Azajibashi. Also played at Texas, San Antonio, and Virginia University in the USA. She was the best receiver of the Bundesliga in 2020. Maybe she can stabilize this reception just a little bit for Novara. And having a bit of trouble getting the ball up to their setter as of late. And that's what Azajibashi has been doing. They've been really targeting and forcing that ball onto Karsasis. Now, who's their target going to be? I would imagine it would continue to be the outside hitter. That would be Mackenzie Adams. Indeed it is. Sharp to the sideline. Doesn't matter, though. Handles it well, as does Countercourt to put it away. Flying in, moves with her feet to get inside of that ball so she can then turn it back down the line off the hands of the smaller blocker, Anna Baladin. And again, Katakort knows all these Turkish players so well from the national team. Woo! That one felt throughout the stadium. No blocker, zero. 0.5 block for Sunei Jakisal, the 29-year-old. She was the best spiker in Japan in 2020. The fans picking it back up, chanting for Novara, but it's 14-9. And Salia Sahin, the serving sub we've seen all match long, gets an overpass. Ooh, doesn't go down, though. Does land out of bounds in the back, so that'll do nicely. I'd be having questions, though, if I'm the server and I'm forcing an overpass. I'd be turning up to my block saying, that has to be a point, please. I did my job. I need you to do yours. Talia Sahin has a VNL silver medal from 2018, a bronze from 2021 with Turkey. Oh, the block. The block continues. The stream of momentum on the side of Azajibashi is dangerous for Novara at the moment. It's Onyenovic to get a one-on-one -on -one diving in against Mackenzie Adams. Doesn't have to do much, just goes a little bit of angle. 
It's now 10 blocks for the team in orange. Catacourt. And again, and again, the block continues. This time, Sine Jackie Sal makes the right read. She's not going anywhere. She is dialed in wherever Catacourt is. She's making sure she's going to be there. That's exactly what her coach has asked of her. Ferhat Akbash saying, slow down, Catacourt, and everything else will fall into place. That's a good touch as well. Through the middle, off the block, recycled. Chance at the outside, but the blockers from Novara respond. Kitty Kella says, any block you can do, I can do better. Baladin again. I have to question why she's targeting Kitty Kella in that opportunity. She had the smaller blocker right in front of her down the line. I would not be challenging the arms of the captain of the Italian side. Strongest shoulders in the game. Quick medical. Well, not really a timeout, just a little tiny break. 10 17. Novara. And they push back. Free ball from Boscovich. Easily handled. Ball outside. Doesn't fall. Again through the middle to Kitty Kella. She'll get one firing. Kitty Kella quietly racking up some points. She had five points in the last three sets. She is always available. Timeout. Now my Turkish is a little bit rusty, but I did play there one season, and I think bir is the translation for one. So Feha Akbash telling his players, with Bozetti, leave one block. The middle, leave one block. Wherever the biggest attacker is, and for me that is Ebra Karakort, there must be a two-man block. Well, they won't need it. 18 to 11 for Ezajibashi. A totally looking, a different looking team than we saw just a couple of sets ago. They looked defeated. They looked burnt out. They looked exhausted. And now they've barely even broken a sweat this set. Again, targeting Adams. Good pickup. It's coming back over though. Patistoni has to take the first ball. Ooh, well, Novara, they can count their lucky stars on that one. Somehow, something, some wires got crossed, and their setter ends up taking the first ball. A bump set from Kitty Kella, and there is, I think, a net touch from one of the players of Izajibashi. So some luck falling back on Novara's side. 12 to 18. Oh, another overpass. That's the way to handle it. Danese, let him know. Two hands, one hand, one foot. Doesn't matter how you do it. You need to make sure that if that ball comes over in your area off the serve, you put it on the ground just like that. Nicely done. Danese, a fair amount of experience for her. World champ silver in 2018, bronze in 2022. And the pressure continues from Novara. The serve is where it starts. That is how it started. Kitty Kelly going down the line now. Izajibashi had a chance there. 
but it's now between four points in it. The serve has been great for Navarra. That's been what put them in good positions all match long. But you know Boscovich will not error twice in a row. First one was a freebie. Second one was revenge. Changes her direction. As Danese is trying to take away the same spot, she goes right back down the other way and says, defend me if you can, I dare you. Strong serve, 19-14. Down the line, did it land? No, it didn't. Just out of bounds. To the Turkish side, another point for the ladies in orange. That high set with a bit of space down there, down the line. It's exactly what she wanted, but timeout's called 20 to 14. Fresh setter in the mix for Novar Colorocambi. A new transfer. Talking about what she's going to run in her base. Basically, that means where's the middle going to run? I think she's going to run that seven. That's that push one in that channel between the blockers. Let's see if it works. Not if the pass is not there. Zajibashi will continue flowing from the end line. Point after point. Not sure what the discussion is here. Nevertheless, point stays with Zajibashi, 21 to 14. And an ace serve to follow it up. Azajabashi are relentless right now. The correct substitutions at the correct side time. And Keck goes for another one. Ooh, the net gets in the way that time. But a one for one. Not a bad statistic. Fifteen to twenty-two. Can be oh, she came over from Firenze earlier this season. Never played outside of Italy. Twenty-three to fifteen. Well, when the errors come, they come thick, they come fast. Keep Novara alive for another point. But Azajabashi only need two to close it out and force a fifth set where anything is possible. Novara is not going to be happy about that, but that is the situation at hand. There's the pipe, there's the touch. Oh, no touch, excuse me. Thought I heard a touch from all the way over here. Nope. Just a bit of a flop hit. So, a timeout called. Let's see if Azadjabashi get themselves back in their winning ways. Okay. So, the block 
is now good, okay? Make sure that if you attack the ball, you don't go for 6-6-1. Six, six, she will go positive to go 6-1 mostly, okay? Just one ball, let's go. There's a look at the errors in the service. Ajibashi. Well, too many errors to count, but they have been counting them. 17 so far in the errors. The serve for Zajibashi. Cross court, good dig. Cat of court, she's going to tip. That's up. The lefty, Boscovich, high and hard as she usually does to bring up set point for her team. Katakurt, she had a lot of luck with those tips, but now it is Izajibashi. They are reading them so well. They are all over it. She cannot sneak them past. Set point, 24-17. Ronkova goes for Festino. Through the middle, Danese gets the touch, or does she? Will this set end the same way that set number three did? With a challenge. Well, looks like no, it won't. On we go, on we play. The set is done. Get another chance to look at it, though. Maisie under the ball ever so slightly. I think she was hoping for the touch. No touch given. So, a confirmation of the score. 25-17, the best score line or the worst, depending on what side of the coin you are on. Best one so far this match. So the first two going to Navarra, the second two to Izajibashi, and now there will be a coin flip to see who gets the serve in this fifth and deciding set. There are some stats. Two aces to one in the fourth set. A few more attacks out of Izajibashi. One more block and better reception as well. But again, we told you it would be a battle of the opposites and that it has been. Catacourt much quieter in that set than we've seen from her. Well, you might not have thought it if you tuned in during the first or second set when Navarra had all the momentum, all the luck, and all the points on the board. They took the first two sets, but Izajibashi not giving up, not letting anything go. They did exactly as Coach Ferhat Akbash asked them to do, as he said in that mid, well, in between the timeouts. We had a quick interview with him. He said, that's in the past. I don't care what's happened. All that matters is what we do in the future, and well... His team listened. They turned it on. 25-20 and 25-17 is how Zajibashi went through set number three and four. A lot of help from Boscovich. 
who was much quieter in the first couple of sets, and now she has 22 points. In fact, she is tied up with Ebrard Karakord, who also has 22 on the other side. We knew it would be a battle of the opposites, and it's not a surprise, but Zadjabashi backed up as well by Handa Baladin and Voronka Voronkova. Both have 11 points. Karsasis has 11 for Novar. It's been a team effort all around, but comes down to this. Set number five underway. Novara have the first serve. Batistoni with the first opportunity to attack. Here comes Boscovic. I think that was a message sent. We got lucky the first couple of sets, but I am here and I'm here to play. Here in the fifth set, Zachibashi will not roll over. Tough serve. Navarro with the tip, that's picked up. Moskovic again from off the net does the impossible, and that's why, not just in system, but look at this. First, the tip helped up by Agnanovic. She comes backing off the net, barely even approach, and is still able to put so much heat on the ball. 2-0 for the visitors. Tough one. Into the hands. And out of bounds. Novara also have the Black Wolf on their side. She was also not in her top form in the last couple of sets, so let's see which team capitalizes. That'll sting. You want to be aggressive from the service line, always. But when it's a race to 15, that's one that really comes back to bite you down the stretch. It's three to one. Gubali sends in an easy one to Bozzetti. And Katakurt makes them pay. Some friendship under the net from Baladin and Katakurt. Again, they know each other all too well from Turkish national team. Ben easy. Two errors in the serve immediately in set number five. So two of those four points as Ajabashi have came straight off of an error. There's the serving change. We've seen that. Kalia Sahin. Has one ace so far. Did she pick up a touch on the way through? No. No touch. Back to Sahin. Five to two. One third of the way there already. On to Mazzetti. Katakurt, cross-court, Doug. Chance again for Baladin, who's picked up. Not for long, though. The Turkish superstar was the best outside hitter of the European Olympic qualifications in 2021. Gets back really fast to have that attack. Doesn't even need an approach. So timeout, Navarra. Attacking directions for Katakort. She's been a stud, an absolute superstar. 22 points in the last four sets. But now the defense starting to read her directions. 
Picking her up down the line, those tips that she's been working on all match long. Tip throw, easy for Voronkova. Ooh, just out. Ne Jackie Sal. Oh, and basically OT on the block. I think they got a bit of luck there as well. Fersino was creeping inside. She wasn't on the line for defense, so that could have been a very hard driven ball. Instead, 3 6. Navarra have Katakurt on the line. That one lands on Baladin. Good block coverage. Inside, down the line to the defense, overpassed. Zajabashi back to Baladin again, who hangs, waits. Katakurt, cross court, still going. Boscovich, she's dug. The rally continues and eventually dies with a roll shot over the block from Bozzetti. All the hard driven balls defended and eventually it's just a little roll into the honeypot. Great defense from Karsasas. And she recognizes the blockers are a little out of system. Tired but fighting is Bozzetti. Timeout. Well, Ferhat asking his players, look for those corners. Of course, he will know Ebrar Karakort pretty well. He was the head coach of Turkey from 2015 to 2016, the coach assistant before that. And he's been on plenty of teams where she has been a part. Novara coming back with a vengeance. Monster block on the outside. Doing a great job to read that. That was the smaller blocker, Bozzetti, who got the big chunk of that. You don't see that often on Boscovich, usually swinging so high that she's out of the range of the blockers. Good pickup. Aggressive serve, and it pays off. Katakurt, get Novara back within striking distance with that really tough serve. I almost think Kirikela didn't even believe that point had gone their way, but it was just out 6-6. Six, six. And we're tied up again. Tough serve again. Perfect reception from Voronkova and a perfect block. Let Novara celebrate once again. Rosetti making a move. We'll get another chance to see that. Oh, that looks in to me. Tough to tell from that angle, though. Both teams celebrating. There will be a challenge. We will see if that ball was in or out. This could be a crucial point. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it does not get closer than that. The ball was in by a hair. Cheers for the video check, say all the Novara fans. And it is on 7 6 for Novara. Too much on it from K. 
Karakurt. Karakurt, the best server of the Turkish League in 2021. Seven seven, and the Baladin took fifth at the Olympics in Tokyo with her Turkish squad. Arsasas handles that well. Defense is good. Zajabashi with a chance to swing. Oh, what a defense! Here comes Katakurt. cross court, and she does it. She absolutely nails it. That point was won by the defense. A huge dig by Fersino, I believe it was. Have a look at this. Bam, just pops off her chest, gets it up. The high bump set from Batistoni and Catacourt. No fear whatsoever. Goes heavy and deep to zone one, forcing, well, some defense out of Boscovich. Still a one-point advantage. That's all it is. Neither team has this in the bag just yet. Katarina Bozzetti. After the change of sides, was the first serve. Roll, dug. Chance for Novara back to Catacourt again. She's dug. Here comes Boscovich. Point for point, opposite for opposite. And Boscovich has the last laugh in that point. Starting with a huge defense by herself. Stepping in that inside set. I'm not sure if that's on purpose or not, but it's working every time. Boscovich can get that super sharp angle against the blockers. Eight to eight. Arsino gets it up. Arsasas into the block and out. Nails it off the hands of a double block in front of her. Watch that again. Arsino stepping in to relieve her of the pass so she can make that move outside. Gets a full approach and go full, heavy, and high against the blockers. That's great teamwork. One point advantage for Navarre. Kirikela. Comes back though. Ronkova continues. It's a nice slice cross court past the blockers in front of her. Again, the MVP of the Russian League in 2021. Good pickup. Arsasa is fast, very fast. Barely had a chance for the blockers to even see that coming. And that's what Navarre is doing really well, varying those offensive speeds. Not giving the same predictable attack over and over again. Batistoni. Back to the line. Finds Voronkova. Boscovich. Recycled for Zajibashi again. And she finds a way off the hands. Does not disappoint. <laughs> the question is whether there was a net touch there. It was by Katakort if there was. Voronkova. A server of the Russian League in 2018. Has a tough one there. Forces Novara into a, a tough spot. But still, nevertheless, Katakurt lets him know there was a touch on the block. 
And the fans are loving it. Same sub, Gaia Giovannini. Just for the serve and some defense. 11 to 10, Navarra have an ever so slight edge here in their home gym. Great ball in from Baladin. Quick response. That's the ball she likes as well. She loves that fast ball to the wings. Add that speed, and then she can beat the blockers with her speed. She doesn't need a high. She doesn't need all that slow, all that time. Just once, just whipped out to her on the antenna. That's her best ball, and that's when she can do exactly what she does just there. Elevens. Navarra, keep it alive. Bozzetti goes aggressive. Oh, and it pays off. What a bold move from Bozzetti. Nobody expecting her to hit that. Novara with some smiles on the faces because luck is shining on them again. Just in time for a timeout from Ferhara Kvash. Well, there's a little bit of insight for you. If they're out of system, force Ebrar to play the ball. That's a good tactic there. Even if you don't score the point, get her playing defense. Get her on the floor. Get her out of the offense. That's a tactic in itself. Well, freebie. Back to the visiting team. It's now down to a three-point race. Who's going to win it? Who's going to get there first? 26 points, an entire set already for Boscovich. Well, I wasn't expecting to see that. Usually so consistent. Boscovich, only three errors in the serve. That one being her fourth. Catacourt. Will she go for an ace? She will, but it won't return. Well, coming into this fifth match, it was Zajabashi who had 17 errors in the last four sets. Kataku or Novara only had eight errors and a few more aces. But now it's down to two points. And Baladin must force Novara to play this one. She doesn't. And in turn gives them set point, match point for the home team. Serena Bozzetti with all the pressure on her shoulders, but she was the best server at the World Champs in 2022. Can she deliver now? Puts one in. Chance for Boscovich. The ball stays alive, but does not come back over. And they can breathe again. It's 14-14. Directions were followed. Force Catacourt to play the ball. 14 points apiece. Sine Jackie Sal. Tough serve. Into the block. Stays alive though. Ooh. Chance for a free ball for Novara. Again into the block. Great coverage for Sino. And Catacourt finds the line. 
as she does. And she lets the fans know she is in business. Persino, that will go unnoticed. But she got this coverage right here. Bam, picks it up on the floor, set behind. Line is open, and Catacourt can deliver. 15-14, match point. Kitty Kella goes down the line. Not yet. Yes, it's done. The whistle is blown on a ball handling contact on set point for Novara. I cannot believe it. It's not even a challengeable offense. And in turn, Novara have won, beaten the odds, and taken down Izajibashi in five sets. There's the set, and there's the call, and all of the players of Izajibashi absolutely stunned. Well, this set had everything. This whole match had everything you could ask for in a volleyball match. Some incredible rallies, some ups and downs, some twists and turns. Novara, 25-23, 25-19, looked like they had it in the bag. Izajibashi turns it on in the next couple of sets, winning to 20 and to 17, and then... What do you know? With their backs against the wall, the home team and Catacourt leading them have done something magical in front of their fans. What a way to finish a match. And there you go. There are the stats. Five aces to four. Ten blocks to 11. Nothing much in it. But we will hear the announcement of the MVP. No surprise there. Ebrard Katakord walks out, takes her place, shakes some hands, smiles. And what a game changer she was against a lot of her friends and family from Turkey on the other side of the mat of the court. A lot of her loved ones and friends cheering against, well, against Novara, certainly not against her. But she has proven she can and will carry this Novara team to great things. Karakurt, an amazing clash. It was a wonderful also your duel with Tiana Boscovic. In the end, your team won. What are your feelings tonight? Um, first of all, we are so happy. This is not a real game. Real game, it will be in Istanbul. But with this victory, we show how much we are good, how much we can believe the go to final in Turin. And I'm proud of my team, all of them. Did amazing job. I want to congratulate also Ezajibashi. They fight very good, but we want more and we win. I'm so happy. What an incredible way to finish. And you heard there Katakort saying this wasn't even the real match. The quote unquote real match will happen next week when these two teams face off again, 7 p.m. local time on Wednesday, the 12th of April. That will be to see who will advance to the finals. Tomorrow, Fenerbahce and Bakke Bank are going head to head.
Well, we knew it would be a battle. We knew it would be an epic challenge for both these two teams. But congratulations once again to Navara, who have at least one foot in the right direction towards a championship match. There's a confirmation one more time of the scores. We went to a fifth set. What a match it was. What a battle. And I cannot wait to see these two teams go head-to-head -head once more. Top scorer was Karakurt for Novara and Boscovich for Izajabashi. We'll see you again next week. But for now, for myself, Key Michael, and all of us here at the CEV, thanks for watching. See you next time.